everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title. As always, don't forget to subscribe below. We're going to be doing a series now talking about the new Farbar contract that came out April 2017. It's been causing a lot of issues for the buyer's agents here because there are some significant changes that could affect your next real estate deal. So take a second, click the red subscribe button, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new Farbar contract. So how many of you actually knew that the new contract came into effect April 2017? As a real estate agent, you're required to use the newest and latest forms that the Florida Bar puts out for you and the Florida Realtor. So it's very important that you understand all of the significant changes. The first one we're going to talk about is loan approval. Many of you realized in the last contract you had a 45-day period as where the buyer had to provide what's called a loan commitment to the seller in order to waive their financing contingency. And on day 46, the seller can call the buyer and say, hey buyer, I need your loan commitment in order to waive the financing contingency, otherwise I'm gonna cancel the contract. And should the buyer get denied financing, they had a way out of the contract. Well folks, things have changed. So if you're representing a buyer, if you're a buyer's agent out there, you need to understand that your time frame just got shorter. In this day when it's so hard to get financing as is, they've actually given you less time to get a loan approval. Now they've changed the word loan commitment to loan approval. They've shortened the period of time from 45 days to 30 days, which is very, very significant because now that it's a loan approval, if should you not provide your loan approval to the seller, on day 31, it's assumed as if the loan is approved. What's that? It's assumed as if your loan has been approved and should the buyer want to cancel after their loan commitment or loan approval now, period, they could potentially lose their deposit because it's as if the loan was approved and they would now have to close cash. Very, very important change agents. We've had four agents already that have reported that they've been sued by their buyers because they did not let their buyer know of this significant change and the buyer lost their deposit to the seller for failure to provide the loan approval and then later got denied financing. So what do you need to do to protect yourself? Mark your contracts to know day 29 or day 30 you need to address your loan approval period. You have three options. Provide the loan approval and the contract moves forward extend the loan approval period, say, hey seller, we need an extra 10 days in order to obtain the loan approval and get that extension, what? In writing. And your last option is obviously if you're not able to get financing, you need to cancel your contract for financing issues within that 30 day window. So I hope as always you enjoyed watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. Make sure you subscribe below and look out for next week's video because we are going to continue talking about the Farbar contract and many of the significant changes that are in this contract. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you at the closing tables.